Hello, everybody. This be upon all of you. I'm so happy to be with you here. I would like uh, to thank uh, the University of Chicago and the Pearson Institute for the study and resolution of global conflict for inviting me to talk about Yemen, which uh, despite the war and despite its transformation into a regional conflict, did not you know, receive the required international uh, attention. I was not uh, surprised when I was requested to talk about the reality of conflict in Yemen, noting that one of the worst uh, manif uh, manifestation of uh, this conflict is uh, the misinformation and falsification of the facts, uh, or at best presentation of half of the uh, story. So um, I will try to speak about the story um, uh, of Yemen. And, um, uh, and it's very important to start with that when we talk about the war in Yemen and the means to peace, it's uh, uh, important to address the nature of the regime that was ousted by the uh, peaceful uh, Yemeni revolution in uh, February 2011. Um, in brief, it was failed and corrupt authoritarian, uh, authoritarian regime that during three decades uh, of its miserable rule brought Yemen uh, to a terrible sta uh, state of deterioration and failure. You can refer to the failed um, uh, state index to discover that Yemen ranked uh, seventh among the failed countries since uh, the year 2005. Will be tried, uh, trapped with um, uh, all factors of conflict, uh, division, internal uh, strife, and institutional uh, corruption. Therefore, you know, the peaceful revolution cannot be uh, viewed as uh, luxury or um, reckless whim or act that um, is uh, redundant or an external conspiracy. Rather, it was like uh, the other Arab Spring revolutions as uh, an, um, an urgent need and an inevitable necessity, which came in response to Yemeni youth who were fed up with the state of corruption, tyranny, uh, failure, exclusion, marginalization, nepotism, and bribery, as well as it was an expression of youth um, uh, dream uh, of a state of justice, uh, pro uh, prosperity, uh, freedom, democracy, and rule of law. Our, peace, uh, our peaceful revolution and the transitional process it produced and the outcomes of uh, a national dialogue that defined the shape and details of the new democratic Yemeni state uh, we went um, uh, 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 yeah, Yemeni state, state that we want, were subjected to regional uh, conspiracy and international betrayal that produced a counter revolution, war, internal fighting, and external interfer uh, interference for you know, about seven years. And it is still destroying everything in Yemen land and people and undermining the dream of, for you know which the youth you know of Yemen ignited you know their uh, spring revolution we can say that um, uh, the main reason for all the disasters that happened and are happening in Yemen is the desire to banish uh, Yemen and Yemeni people for its peaceful revolution against tyranny and uh, against corruption and um, uh, their uh, struggle for democracy. And to make um, uh, Yemeni people as an example to other people in the region who can dare uh, to dream uh, and to talk about change. Um, of course, you know that there are you know, uh, countries in the, in the region uh, who want to give their people a scary listen uh, in not you know, seeking you know, uh, change and not even dreaming uh, for democracy and freedom. Um, here, I want you know, to, um, uh, to refer to the central rule 
of the capitals of the counter revolution in the region. I mean here Riyadh, Abu Dhabi, and Tehran, um, where they mobilized their capabilities and influence to undermine the revolutions of Arab Spring so that the dreamer um, uh, of uh, change and demands for state uh, of right, uh, freedom, justice, citizenship, and democracy would not be you know, transmitted you know, to them. As is well known, you know, as we, you know, uh, is well known, the frantic competition and struggle between Saudi Arabia and Iran today represents an important background for understanding the devastating war in the region in general, but in Yemen in particular, and the reason for um, you know its continuation. The Saudi and Iranian regimes have the same hostile view of the Arab Spring revolutions. Um, the interest of Riyadh and Tehran contradict on many points, but they agree uh, in hostility to democracy and you know, popular uh, revolutions. The two countries fought the Yemeni revolution from two different angles, but they agree on hostility to the um, uh, to, Ar to the Arab Spring, not just you know the Yemeni revolution. So uh, we may say that the Yemeni current tragedy began uh, seven years ago, uh, specifically on September 2000, uh, 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 21, 2014, when the Houthi militia invaded the uh, Yemeni capital, Sana'a. Uh, the rebels had um, you know, uh, conspired with the uh, ousted dictator, Ali Abdullah Saleh, uh, to disrupt the referendum on the uh, new constitution and democratic transition uh, in Yemen. The Houthi militia carried out its bloody coup with clear support uh, from Iran. But the irony is that the Houthi coup, as much as it had clear support from Iran, was also with the blessing of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates through their support for the dictator Ali Abdullah Saleh and also through their other proxies in Yemen. The Houthi militia has a fascist ideology, medieval beliefs, and a desire to uh, subjugate people, people to their will by force. It is um, a dynastic group that does not believe in democracy or the modern state. It is a racist group that, believed, that believes in the uh, divine mandate and that is exclusive uh, to it without all Yemenis. And its goal to possess power through violence and control over society and impose you know, uh, their culture on it. The Saudi believe that the Houthi militia was the party they could rely on to abort you know, uh, the change uh, that seemed to be looming uh, in Yemen in 2011. Uh, they used the Houthi militia twice in the first for a coup and toppling the state. And in the second, they used it as a pretext for military inter uh, intervention, for their war against Yemenis, you know, their war that they launched uh, on Yemen on March uh, 26, 20, uh, 2015 under the cover of supporting Yemeni legitimacy. However, it's clear uh, today that after uh, seven years of war, uh, that it has another agenda aimed only uh, to divide and destroy Yemen. And out of their you know, um, greed uh, to control its you know, uh, Yemeni uh, important islands, coasts, and oil and gas uh, resources. Saudi Arabia uh, is an Arab uh, neighboring country, and we do not favor, you know, a hostile, you know, relationship uh, with them. But 
the ruling family affirmed worse than before their hostility and hatred to Yemen, and they do not want Yemen to be an independent and stable country. On the other hand, Iran has been reaping you know, the, the results of its support and alliance with the Houthis since you know, uh, its establishment uh, at the beginning of the uh, new uh, millennia. What deepening the Yemeni tragedy is that you know, the political exposure by those greedy uh, politicians who are dependent on uh, a foreign agenda. Um, so um, this is one of the reasons of you know, uh, the tragedy that is happening in Yemen. So as a result of the Houthi coup, the Saudi Emirates war in Yemen and the failure of uh, the politi Yemeni politicians, uh, Yemen today is uh, witnessing a disaster that the world has said is uh, man-made. Uh, but the truth is that uh, it is a disaster made by tyrants and the enemies of freedom. Yemen, which has a glorious history, ancient you know, people, and a unique strategic location on the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea, and one of the most important streets in the world, the Bab al Mandeb, as you know, is under Saudi Emirates and Houthi control. And in light of you know, a shameful and painful uh, global silence, Yemen is experiencing the worst humanitarian catastrophe the world has witnessed in decades. There is widespread you know, uh, destruction of the infrastructure um, uh, of the service uh, sector, especially health, education, water, and electricity. Most you know, uh, you know, regions of the country witnessed you know, frightening you know, outbreaks of uh, epidemics, starting with the um, you know, fever, cholera, uh, corona, and um, others. Um, uh, if we if we want to, to to explain more about the humanitarian you know situation in Yemen, we, we will not stop. But let's talk you know about you know you know that this is just a brief presentation of the Yemeni reality now and the various parties you know to the war. It is unfortunate that America and the international community are watching the war of you know, um, extermination that our people are being exposed to. The only thing left of the uh, international community are envoys uh, who fell you know, regular vacant uh, posts and do little to prevent crimes against uh, humanity and to stop war. But the Yemeni people will not surrender. Uh, we are uh, Yemenis who, uh, who will defend on our rights. We are the defenders of, uh, of a just uh, cause and we will not accept slavery to the racist Houthi militia, uh, and we will not accept the dismemberment uh, of our country, and we will not accept uh, tutelage, whether it is Saudi, Emirates, or uh, Iran. Just as our people will defeat the inter internal um, aggression, uh, our people will re resist and bring down the external uh, aggression against you know, our people and against our country. Yemen is not um, uh, a banana state to be uprooted and its existence um, abolished by conspiracy from the enemies inside or outside. These are the facts of the uh, history and we will restore you know, our country with our will and with our uh, adherence you know, to our uh, just uh, cause. Um, uh, uh, here, uh, I want to say that with all my belief in the ability of our great people to bring down both internal and external aggression and to bring Yemen um, in the future to modern state, a state of justice, uh, law, democracy, um, uh, equality, um, prosperity, it is also important to point out that 
any observer of the efforts of the international community and major countries during the years of war will realize that the international community, as I said, left Yemen entirely for the Saudi Emirates coalition to commit war crimes on the one hand and extor uh, you know, uh, extortion against, uh, against them you know, on the other uh, hand. It is very important to point out here also that there are about eight Security Council resolutions uh, sponsoring you know, the transitional process in, uh, in Yemen, and that the international community has pledged to the Yemenis to sponsor the transitional process uh, and its full you know, support for it. And uh, hence, the international community must full, fulfill its commitment uh, and play its role toward Yemen. Yemen need um, a decisive decision from the international community to end this war. If this war continues and if Yemen is fragmented and divided, and if this war continue, this not only uh, affects Yemen, but is also uh, considered a grave danger to regional and global peace and security. The success of international efforts to end the war and bring peace depends on stopping the sale of arms to Saudi Arabia and the UAE and taking all means to ensure that weapons from Iran do not reach to the Houthis. The success of international efforts to end the war depends on the return of the state, the state of the Republic of Yemen on the entire uh, national uh, territory of Yemen as a unified, independent, secure, and stable country. The success of international efforts is um, in building uh, the peace process must lead to the state monopoly of arms and the exercise of sovereignty. And that state institution are ex um, you know, exclusively interested with issuing you know, government orders and that elections are the only way to gain power, not violence and armed you know, force. It must also lead to the end uh, of all forms of domination, guardianship, tutelage, and occupation. So the war ends uh, you know, with the return of integrated Yemen, not its dismemberment, dismemberment. The war ends with the return of the state of the Republic of Yemen, which has full and comprehensive authority over all of the Yemeni land, not with the uh, legislation of the, of the militia uh, state and you know, the division of Yemen. The war does not end with the deals between the internal warlords of war militia and the foreign guardianship countries that are keen for their interests uh, and that do not care about Yemen's exit from the war uh, as one independent as United States that has the elements of security and stability. So after every war, there will be peace. There is no war forever. Let it be peace now. Yemenis are ready and longing for peace. Throughout history, Yemenis enter uh, into conflict and then reconcile. History does not record that, uh, that Yemenis have gone to the stage of no return. Regardless of the warlords and beneficiaries of wars, Yemenis are now ready for peace and national reconciliation and see that they are capable of achieving sustainable peace that leads to state in which you know, all Yemenis uh, live free and equal. If external interference is stopped, and by that I mean the Saudi, Emirati, and Iranian interference, we will not only make peace, but we will establish a free 
democratic state, a state of justice and the rule of law, and we will be the strategic partner in maintaining the security and the stability uh, of the world. We will work uh, hard to build sustainable peace in our country uh, and achieve comprehensive uh, national reconciliation, which you know, we believe consists of the following steps. Stop the war, lift the siege, and the Saudi Emirati withdrawal from the country, and stop Tehran from continuing to uh, supply the militias with weapons. The same thing with Saudi and Emirates stop supporting other militias in Yemen. Returning to resume the political process from where it stopped with the coup and war. And here I mean putting you know, the constitution in referendum and uh, organizing the election. Forming a military committee under the uh, supervision of the United Nations working to withdraw weapons from all militias so that the state has the exclusive right to use weapons and to build the army and security institutions according to national principles in a way that guarantees the uh, protection of the country, its sovereignty and the integrity of uh, its territory and guarantees you know, uh, security and stability in the country. Forming a national government of all companies, uh, um, you know, that works, you know, you know, in organizing a referendum on the draft uh, constitution and holding various local, regional, parliamentary, and presidential elections uh, based on the new constitution. Formation of a national reconciliation body that works to redress harm compensate victims and ensure that crimes is not uh, reoccurred. Reconstruction. Reconstruction and the commitment of Saudi Arabia and the UAE to Yemen to compensate them, to compensate Yemen for their destruction uh, uh, that they caused during the war. So, and finally, um, um, I want to say that whoever thinks that Yemen is easy to swallow and that its people, people are easy to tame is committing a, a grave mistake. Uh, the matter is very complicated. Uh, Yemeni people, people uh, causes a long standing legacy of pride, dignity, resistance, and disobedience, which makes them resistant to any rule force and oppression, and to any invasion, incubation, uh, guardianship, tutelage, or domination. Thank you so much.